Does anybody know about Smoke the Cat? The other day I was walking home from work and I saw this guy like putting up flyers that said Smoke the Cat. Yeah, I noticed um, signs all over the neighborhood. For weeks and weeks it said looking for Smoke the Cat. We followed the story of Smoke the Cat from the posters on the street. Colin, what did you see on the sign? Smoke. We were walking by the sign, and my babysitter didn't really care, but I was like, look, it's a lost cat. I was actually out of town on Fire Island, and I get a call from Jim, and he was panicking, and he just knew, even though it had only been a couple hours, he knew smoke was gone. It was a normal day. I was, I'm generally off on Mondays. I was practicing bass. He was sitting next to me. I went out on the back porch. He was hanging out with me and I ran up to the grocery store. Uh, I think if I was gone 18 minutes, it was a long time. He had just been fed, it was like five o'clock in the afternoon. When I got back, he had just disappeared. I started panicking after about an hour and a half, and by that night I was putting up posters in the middle of the night. I got home Wednesday, and by then, Jim was in full on canvassing the neighborhood mo uh, mode, and it didn't, didn't stop for the next six weeks. Ultimately, I made 1,700 flyers, of which I put up almost 1,700 flyers. I saw the first poster, and then there was a second set of posters that they put up that said, still missing. And at that point, I started to think, like, these poor people are deluding themselves. I thought, you know, after the third or fourth week, you know, this is, this is over. They're never going to find the cat. They replaced the signs, and weeks and weeks went by. And I just thought, this is truly, you know, hope in vain. It's funny, like the children definitely believed the smoke was alive. And I didn't exactly want to say this, but I think, uh, well, basically thought smoke was dead. I wasn't going to drop this. I wanted to know some, what happened to him. I knew there's a possibility he could have passed away. Where was his body? I wanted to know, you know? Most people have had a mouse die in your house and it, and it smells horribly. And what about a 10 pound cat? Where's this cat, you know? So I really wanted to know, this is a really populated area, you know, so I knew someone was going to see him at some point. So that's the very first one we worked with. Just two pictures. My name is Smoke. I've gone missing and need help getting home. A week later, we started doing cash reward. No questions asked. It was the first time I went to black and white. Took a really strong headshot of Smoke. I was really just trying to make it clean, the most information in the least amount of words. People thought it might be helpful to move from a general cash reward to an actual dollar amount, so we went to 400. We went to Spanish August 24th. It's great to like actually go over this timeline. So August 17th this is the first time we started doing Smoke the Grey Cat. This changed things. It started to catch on, Smoke the Grey Cat. People were starting to finally text us pictures of grey cats about three to four weeks into the search. And at this point, he was getting hundreds of texts and calls. I mean, he would wake me up with the phone and be like, is this him, is this him? If it was even questionable, he would get up and go drive, walk, run um, to wherever these people were, which was usually like 10 to 15 minutes away in the middle of the night. When the posters became Smoke the Gray Cat to specify his color, I then did a smoke the gray cat at gmail.com so I started getting emails there. I have no idea when this particular photo was taken but it does capture his slightly bored distant look in his eyes. He's such a mellow mellow cat. For me it was really the photo and I mean it's almost like the Mona Lisa cat. I mean this cat the photo there's something going on inside Smoke's head. It just draws you in thinking like you it's like a vacuum. You, you, you fill it up with your own projections. Then, you know, we started getting a little bit of publicity. It was really the human um, side of the story that um, came across in his relationship with Smoke and DNA specifically latched on to man who showers with cat devastated about, you know, his loss. That story from DNA made it to at least number 20 on Reddit. I was with my friend Elizabeth when her mom called and said that they, that she had like brought this cat inside um, that she thought was probably someone's pet. She FaceTimed us and she showed us the cat. I was thinking, 
where have I seen this cat before? Then we were on the street the next day, and I saw the flyer, and I was like, you should take a picture of this and send it to your mom. Um, and she took a picture of it, and her mom called the number, and it turned out that it was the cat. I literally just went. I, I did like a mic drop. I dropped the phone on the bed, and I just burst out crying. I couldn't, you know. Yay, we found the cat. <laughs> I feel really happy that smoke, that smoke is home. It was an intense six weeks, so uh, I was beside myself. I mean, to get him back, it was... Oh. After the six weeks of people seeing everything we went through, we had to let the neighborhood know that we found him, and we wanted to have a party. First off, uh, Smoke's doing really well. He's... Yeah. <laughs> I'm so glad you found your cat. I wrote a song about your cat. Yeah, then Lana wrote a song about him, which was amazing. And, uh, and everyone was singing along, along with uh, the song um, and crying. There were tons of people crying. I lost myself, I lost myself, you find me. We found him. <laughs> Who gets that? <laughs> hey, Smoke. Have you seen yourself? <laughs>